of VEOF and the Asia Pacific Screen Academy, I'm honoured to present the 2023 VEOF Award to Jeremy Chua. Uh, I wish I had a script. Uh, I, I had stage fright since I was young, so these two minutes will be tougher than producing a film. Uh, I first want to thank APSA and FIAF for this uh, recognition. Um, you know, when we produce films after so long, it's very easy to get caught up in this rhythm and in this routine and it was a good chance to really, for me to reflect upon what I've been doing these last nine, ten years and to really also appreciate and enjoy it myself. Um, so thanks for this um, chance to, 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 to remember. I want to also thank um, my directors. Two of them are here today, actually, uh, Fan Tian An, who, and, and, who did Inside Lea Kukun Shao, and Nicole Woodford, who did Last Show at First Light. Um, and all the other directors and filmmakers and, and crew who have worked with me, I feel very honored to be part of that growing journey of wisdom and creative spark. Uh, speaking of directors, I feel um, as an independent producer, uh, the need to, to, to keep supporting independent directors. So congratulations for all the filmmakers in the room for having a great impact uh, on our industry this year. I've, I just want you to also remember that um, you know, the world is so quick to put value on things that are very materialistic, like you know, we, we value with money, but what you do is you put value in things that people think have no money, like people think are underrepresented or, or don't have a voice or who, who are impoverished or who, who lack representation and you give them a certain kind of human spirit, and so I find it very precious. Um, so congratulations to the APSA team and the organizers for celebrating the independent cinema, not just the studios, but the independent cinema who keep this equalizing force in the, in the world. Um, and also, of course, the directors couldn't have done it without the producers. So independent producers too, you know, like, uh, this goes really long. <laughs> Uh, but I, I kind of feel like people tend to forget that, you know, with all the grants and stuff we get for the film projects, independent producers have to actually sustain like an entire business, you know, it's not just one project, but they need some sustenance to keep doing what they do because every project is almost like a roll of a dice, you know, like you, you, could, you could actually lose it all in one project. It's, it's, it's that risky, risky business. And I feel like as a collective, it would be good that we, we keep the institutions and the commissioners aware that we have to keep building up these independent producers and their businesses, not just give them one grant every two, three years, but really to think about how their, their effect on the filmmaking industry, independent industry is as important as the commercial one. Um, so, um, so in that sense, also thanks to APSA Lab, I think, uh, for organizing and for doing what you do. I think yesterday, um, Anthony was talking in a panel that, you know, like a lot of times filmmakers feel like if you don't get into like all those big labs, you know, you get missed off. And I think what APSA Lab has done is that they've really found really deserving participants, like filmmakers from places in the nooks and crannies that you never really heard of before. Uh, like not famous, but really have really strong goals and intentions. So just a shout out the the directors who are making their their first films, uh, Amir, Diali, Jimbo, and not Thierry Soban. Uh, I think of all the professionals, please try to pay attention to what these filmmakers are doing. They come from places where there's no film commission or where there is really like really impossible to get access. Um, okay, so. Yeah, I think as uh, as speeches go, you have to thank your family, so I have to thank my family. Uh, uh, they don't really know what I do, so but 
but they try their best to support me and I'm very grateful. Um, yeah, they don't know that I'm here actually. Uh, and I think thanks also to Herman, Herman Van Eiken. I actually uh, dropped out of college when I was 17 and I applied for film school and, uh, and Herman was the head of the film school and he was the one that invited me to study cinema. Um, and I think another important force in my life is Fran Borja. He's like a legend in Singapore. I think more importantly is that Fran, you gave me a lot of belief in things that I thought was impossible because you had it yourself. And I think that's what a great mentor does, is that more than just facts and knowledge and figures, but really uh, essence and a fire that kept me going for so long. I have also other mentors, but if I list them all, it would be a long night. So just to say thanks to everyone, and I'm very grateful for this uh, recognition. And um, yeah, uh, enjoy the rest of the night.